it's fluff. There's no substance to those conversations, to those communications. Whereas now, you're really talking legitimate, heartfelt, sincere comments. The thing that we talk about in Project 90 and Beyond 90, which you have now completed, uh, Ronnie is also entering into our next level program, which is leadership, is that we never say you can't drink. We joke that, heck yeah, we can drink. We could drink most people under the table. It's about choosing. And in the beginning, during Project 90, it it can be tough, right? A lot of feelings come up, a lot of emotions around, like you said, the broken promises, the way that we've let ourselves down, let down our loved ones. And then the winds start to build. So it's not that you can't drink. It's making a choice and recognizing what that drink will cost you. You mentioned integrity. What else would a drink cost you? You know, there's, a, there's you'd have a moment of ease, right? You know, that moment of dopamine rush, you get that. And then, but you'd lose so much more. You know, there's a huge price you pay for it. And that's a manufactured um, high. It's not a natural. It's not. It's not the way our body's intended. It's it's a it's a chemical substance that that you know was man made. It wasn't. It's, it's not nature. So it's not natural. So um, what would what would it cost me? So it would cost me my health. I mean, where I'm going. Um, you know, I might be able to get away with one, but it doesn't stop at one for us for me. Um, I know that. So. Um, and now, you know, I am able to live a more truer life. Like I said, I still got my issues, but they're so far less. And um, it's, it's just, it's been a great growth situation. That's what I didn't anticipate. And then the friendships that I've encountered along the way, too. Uh, it's a lot more genuine conversation. So the other part of what you would miss if, if I drank would and be a little bit camaraderie with some people. But that camaraderie is kind of, it's fluff. It's not. It's there's no substance to those real those conversations and that those communications. Whereas now, you're really talking legitimate, heartfelt, sincere comments versus the BS that we try to say to be funny and humorous and you know and sometimes insulting. To, you know, sometimes you take it too far. Yes, great point. Uh, that thirty minute high from a drug can facilitate that initial connection, right? It puts our mind at ease. It loosens the tongue. So yeah, for 30 minutes, we're, we're fun. We're affable. Conversation flows. It takes practice to become accustomed to having social engagement without that lubricant. And now, Ronnie, as a non-drinker, you've had opportunities to observe what happens later in the in the festivities and yes. how things go south? So people start repetitive communication. Uh, they stir their words. They even get on incoherent. It's like, what did you just say? I'm like, I can't understand you. You're not making sense. And then obviously people, it goes further from that. We know that. We know that mm-hmm. all the stuff people can do that's negative. I'm glad you and I were never like that when we were drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Slurring words of what do you speak? <laughs> oh, repetitive communication? No, I didn't say oh, yeah, ten, nah. ten times. Not it wasn't me. funny the first time. It's not funny the tenth time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about humor. Uh, it, many, many folks will say, I need alcohol to socialize and to be funny. What have you found about yourself and your Project 90 and Beyond 90 friends uh, as far as us needing anything to have a sense of humor or personality? Well, you're you're quicker now than ever, and um, it's all fun. So um, I find everybody really laser focused and um, quite intelligent. You know, there's there's no, uh, everybody's got something to offer in their own unique perspective and uh it's been it's been wonderful meeting everybody and that's an that's an un i never anticipated that that was something i never anticipated 